Hey, welcome back to James' Repair Shop. I hope everyone's doing well. A uh, hot day here in Saskatchewan. Um, got the lawn mowed this morning, getting things looking better. Uh, working on the 65 hardtop today. Um, taking the uh, seats out, right in here. Getting ready to take the seats out. And I'm gonna install this carpet over here. So I had the carpet out in the sun for a while, but I'll put it back out before I install it so it's good and supple. Uh, first thing is take the seats out and I have some uh, sound deadening mat I have to put down and after that we'll throw the carpet in her so let's get at it and get her done all right anybody that's not uh, done this before you need a 9 16 deep socket to take the seats out with I'm using a, just an air ratchet but you can use anything you can use a wrench if you want but I use the the socket and air ratchets quicker um, there's no carpet left in here as anybody knows that been watching the channel They already know that this has been stripped out The floors are in really good shape in the back and I painted the stuff in the front. So I'll do a little vacuuming once I get this all out and I'll put that uh, sound deadening stuff in There I got the seats out uh, These pans are all nice and solid now. I all painted them up nice that's just dirt that's in around there. This could put a little, I did rust treat all this, but I'll do a little more. And uh, same on the other side. It's all cleaned out. Now the seat belts, the remote three quarter socket, seat belts or a wrench, whatever you can get on them. Watch your, watch your back lifting them out like anything else. You're lifting in an awkward position. Driver's seat has the, uh, Power seat cable, also the cable for the seat belts. Vice versa, I forget which one's which. Either one, there's one for the power seat and there's one for the, I believe this is the power seat, this is the seat belt cable, I think. Either way, you have to remember to uh, make a slit in the carpet for those to come up through too. And that's about it. Uh, these carpets had screws. There's a screw there. And I believe they had some screws along the sides in a couple spots. They were glued over there. But when we got, it shows in the book where to put them in your manual. So if you uh, don't have a manual and you're working on one of these cars, you should get one. It's, it'll come in handy. Get a shop manual. All right, here's a clip on uh, group 18.7 for carpets. Tells you how to do it. You guys can pause there and take a look if you like. Also, here's the diagram. I'll turn it around so you get a better view of it. So here's the diagram of how you do it. So there were two screws back here, two screws there, and two screws up front. And then the rest of them are trim cement. So it shows where to do the cementing along the side rails and then along the tunnel, transmission tunnel. That's pretty much it. Remove the seats like I did, the seat belts. Uh, the back seat has to come out. All that stuff so once you've done all that you're ready to do the carpeting there's a couple holes here these, could, these will all need uh, tape put back over them so what all I'm using is some black Gorilla tape this is all under carpet inside it'll be fine originally it had like a gaffer's tape on it but I was gonna get some hockey tape made by Renfrew here in Canada and it's uh, they have some of the wide stuff and it's a cloth tape like gaffer's tape but I forgot to get it so the project must go on, so what we're going to do is uh, Gorilla tape it. There she is, Gorilla taped up. That'll be just fine for this job. Well, there she is. One side almost done. Uh, three and a half sheets of this Amazon Basic Butyl adhesive back stuff with a uh, foil and uh, adhesive. Uh, it sticks really well. But you uh, will need a roller. To get it to work down good I've been put I put it out in the Sun it'll help now I paid uh, I think $54 a box for this uh, quite a long time ago more than two years ago I think and it was a warehouse deal I believe at the time it was 80 some dollars a box and kill mat was like 120 at that time and uh, now this is 119 I haven't checked kill mat uh, for a while and I'm not bashing Kilmat at all. I mean, it's just good products. But this this was something I was able to pick up a little less expensive. It'll work for this car just fine. Um, I, let, I, need a, I need a little bit more right here. And there's a spot right here I need to fill in. 
And that's it. Amazon Basics. Um, but that's just my preference. You can use whatever you like. All right, there's a new carpet laid in. Tucked up under the console edge there. Some trimming will be need, need to be done. Not a lot, but a little bit. It's a little oversized, but that's fine. Sure as heck smells and looks a lot better than the old stuff. Some trimming up by the fuse panel will be needed, but yeah, it's pretty good. A couple screws up there. This one here, I don't think I need to trim because it goes back right pretty much where it was supposed to be. This carpet I got from Bird Nest. It fits really nice. Uh, it sat down in there pretty good. It, I had it out in the sun for a couple hours before in the hot sun and it, it settled down nicely. A little wrinkle up in here, but I'll, that'll come out. I put the screws in and then give it a little tension. Looks good. Now on to the other side. Well, that looks much better. I'm really happy with that. That carpet fits really nice. Uh, just need to put the slit in and put the gas pedal back in there. There's a grommet right there for the dimmer switch. Um, I'm going to have to get more uh, sound deadener for under the back seat because that's all I have left from that box. So it took pretty much a whole box of that Amazon basic stuff to do there. To do that uh, under the in the driver and the back seat floor pans but yeah so he's looking good they got the seats have to go back in seat belts have to go back in don't forget the seat belts but uh, i'm pretty happy with that carpet it looks nice in there smells nice better than an old ratty stinky one well that's it guys it's hot out here it's four o'clock uh saturday afternoon and i'm sweating and Time to go in and have a, a refreshment or two and uh, enjoy the evening. All right, well, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.